Welcome back to yet another uh, video. I am tired. We just had a nice pool morning with my girlfriend of two years as of yesterday and my little puppers. It's the first time in a long time there's been really nice weather. It's probably 80, 90 degrees here and the pool was actually finished, ready to go. You could swim in it. So we had a good time. First time my dog has swam in a year and she freaking loves it. So it, it was good. It was a good time. And then I went inside and made some protein tea because I'm not feeling too hot. My throat's hurting, my stomach's hurting, my immune system's obviously weak so I'm not eating enough food at all. And now my girlfriend's taking a little nap. I showered. I'm comfy and it's time to relax for the rest of the day. This video is based on what's happening tomorrow. I get another clean cheat. I'll explain all about that as the video progresses. It is the following day. As you can obviously tell, I apologize for the cars in the background. I still have no external mic, which I do need to get. Last night, I didn't really do anything else. That's why I cut that clip there. All we do is chill, relax, play with the dog, watch TV. Nothing that was worthy of recording. I did my fasted cardio this morning. I was supposed to do 30 minutes, but I could only get 22, 25, something like that because clients came in and someone was hogging the Stairmaster. So Coach always says, if you can get 30 minutes, get 30 minutes. If not, just get whatever you can, preferably get 30 minutes. So, so I'm just gonna kill this workout real, real hard and heavy to make up for the lack of burnt calories in there on that Stairmaster. Yesterday was really the first day I felt cravings. Sadly, we have all felt cravings and they suck, especially if you're on a diet. But seeing as I didn't do cardio in the morning because I had no fast cardio yesterday because that was my off day, I did no workout because that was my off day, and I did no post-workout cardio, which is my off day. So that right there is like a thousand calories burned that I'm missing. And, and it caused me not to have my pre or post-workout meal, which means I'm losing my candy, my peanut butter, and a protein shake, which I'm just losing out on like a lot of things that I enjoyed that kept me sane throughout the diet. So I started craving everything under the moon and it sucks that my mom keeps 14 bags of M&Ms open all over the house. So throughout the day I was snacking on an M&M here and there, here and there. I had a french fry. It's, it was bad. It really wasn't too bad but I did crave a lot yesterday so hopefully today I can do better and that's why these clean cheat days are good for you. As I said in my last clean sheet day video, it gets rid of cravings. Once I have this big meal, I'm good for weeks just because I know that I've had food that isn't what I've had the past six weeks. And then it also kind of bumps up the scale a little bit, which motivates me more, although it's just water weight retention, it motivates me and then I end up losing more weight. So only five weeks, that's easy peasy. The game changer to pre-workout is utilize these monster juices. You pour it in here with some water, and then you throw your scoop of pre-workout. So you get an extra caffeine, real tasty juice, mixed with the pre-workout, it's phenomenal. Last announcement thing before I shut up, cause I know I'm getting annoying. Alphalete Athletics just launched their new line. It's got stringers, cutoffs, long sleeves, women's leggings, women's underwear, pfft, scoop necks, all kinds of nonsense. Go check it out. I hope everything isn't sold out. They've been doing a lot better on making sure that everything kind of stays on their website. Uh, I know one thing sold out for sure and that is the black stringer because it sold out in literally like 12 seconds. I copped one, two, three, four, five, maybe six items that I will review for you guys in the next video, hopefully, maybe one after this, I don't know. Chest and arms, cheat day, good time. I see those stars glowing brighter than the darkness. I feel those hearts sharing love the farthest. I've seen them come, I've seen them go, losing all that I can 
control to feel those swords sharing love the farthest you are the center of my universe I drift away into a miracle you caught me stuck in your first again if you knew me since time begun you'd understand why you're the one if you knew me we'd share all these moments made it back to the house. I want you guys, whoever saw it, let me know what little joke. He literally just started his lawnmower. If you saw the little hiccup in that workout edit, the joking one obviously, let me know. Leave it down below in the comments what, what you saw and I'll let you know if you're right. First person that gets it right, I don't know, uh, gets a hug. So today has finally turned into a good day. Instead of just a clean cheat, I get 50 grams of carbs cheat from whatever I want, whether it's french fries, or a burger, something, I get 50 grams of carbs from the cheat that I want, and then 50 grams of carbs from a cheat that's clean in terms of rice or sushi or something like that. So, it's gonna be a good time. You know you're getting lean when nothing fits. These glasses barely fit my face now. My watch is on the loosest slot, and it still doesn't fit. My pants are definitely not fitting. My shirt doesn't fit my arms. <laughs> Nothing fits, nothing on me fits. But I've probably shown you guys this exact same fit like 47,000 times because I wear this a lot because I love it as always. We got the movement glasses, we got this movement watch, we got this Alphalete Scoop Neck T from their last launch. I also ordered some from the launch that happened today. So if you guys want, go cop some. AlphaleteAthletics.com, fire. And then on the bottom, we got Zara denim, which again, don't fit anymore. And then my k coals that I wear anytime I go out. What do you guys do when you don't wear your glasses? Do you put them here? I feel like it makes me look kind of douchey. I don't know. Time for Kobe, ice cream, and a good time. can't really see here, the sun is literally right in my face. We went to Kobe Steakhouse, I got some hibachi chicken, sushi, we split the sushi obviously, and then uh, I ate my own hibachi chicken and I only got broccoli and veggies because of volume and I hate all the other vegetables they have to offer. So, uh, and then we went to TJ Maxx to kind of walk around, build up some hunger, and then we're going to get my cheat carbs, which is marble slab ice cream. Who knows what I'm getting, I don't know yet, but I got to fill up the tank first so I can make it to Marble Slab. She's right now in the gas station getting herself some candy. She might get me some too. We'll see. That's a no. She didn't get me any candy. Best ice cream in the world. Before I do anything today, I want to make sure I give a shout out to all the mothers out there, whether you're you're an actual blood mother, whether you're a stepmother, whether you're a mother of a dog, whether you're just a mother figure, say you're a sister and your little sister looks up to you, everybody out there who is a mother figure to people, the world wouldn't be going around if it weren't for you guys. And I want you to know that everyone appreciates you, your children appreciate you, those that look up to you appreciate you. So before I get into anything, go show your mother some love or a motherly figure your older sisters, whomever it may be. So I start off this morning by cooking up my mom some breakfast. What? Well, I think freezer. Happy Mother's Day. Love I get, I make her breakfast. Uh, telling her Happy Mother's Day, showing her I love her, and then I had to come get my cardio in. So I just finished up my cardio, I'm about to change, and get ready to go to the gym, so that I can go home and spend the rest of my day with my mother. 
make sure she knows that I love her and appreciate her and, and all kinds of stuff. So let me go ahead and change real quick. All right, that's better. Now let's go to the gym. Okay, so I lied. I'm not going to the gym yet. I will be going to the gym later on tonight. I need food. I'm too hungry to just go to the gym and work out. I won't get back to like six. My whole family will be gone. I won't be able to spend Mother's Day with my family. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go show my mom I love her, cook my food for the day, eat a meal, hang out a bit, and then once I know that everyone's about to leave and the day is kind of over, then I'll go to the gym and work out because I have nothing else to do the rest of the day. So let's see if she likes them. Happy Mother's Day. Aw, thank you, honey. Don't get me in the head with them. Really demotivated and uh, de-energized. Cause I'm, I'm drained, energy gone. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna suck it up like I would tell every one of you guys to do. When you, when you feel demotivated, these are the days you wanna work the hardest. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna think in my head about how cool it would be to win and to meet all these people that I wanna meet and to become friends with all these other competitors and I'm me look my best when I'm out there by the pool. So, I'm about to, about to straight kill it uh, let's do it. Gym's like almost empty too. It's fantastic. There's like four cars here. So that just makes me more happy. Broken minds in all the wrong I tried to start off with this just because I felt like my pull-ups been lacking. I don't feel like I do enough pull-ups. So I'm gonna start every single back and shoulder workout with pull-ups, 50 reps, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do as many sets as I can and trying to get 50 reps. So yeah, I think it ended up taking me like six sets. I did about eight to 10 reps a set. Then I moved on to rag deads. I did five sets of 12, 10, eight, six, four. Again, just getting heavier, progressive overload, making sure I'm getting stronger. Then I moved over to an overhand Smith row, which actually I love right now. I don't, I don't know why, that felt amazing. I did four sets of 10 to 12 there. Then I moved on to an underhand cable pull down. And that again, feels amazing. I don't know why I'm liking that one so much. Four sets of 10 to 12 there. Then the last back exercise was an elevated close cable row. Again, I just sat in a ball and did cable rows. Four sets of 10 to 15. Then on the shoulders, started with the lateral raise machine. What I like to do is superset my first shoulder exercise with the last back exercise. So I did the underhand cable row and I superset that with lateral raise machine. Four sets of 15. Then moved on to a barbell upright row. Went a little heavier than I usually do with this one. So I was using a little bit more momentum. Four sets of 10 to 12. Then moved on to a Smith machine military press. Four sets of 10 to 12. I felt weak only because I did chest yesterday. So I wasn't 100%. Then moved on to a try super set of front dumbbell raises, dumbbell lateral raises, and dumbbell rear delt flies. I did three sets of 10 to 15 on all of those. I think I actually ended up doing 15 on all of those. And then the last exercise was a cable shrug, which it was four sets of 10 to 15. I did a bunch of pulsing reps at the end. So again, it didn't end up being 15. It was probably 20, 25 reps. And then I finished off with my post-workout cardio, and now I am here ripping up the workout that you guys just saw. Next video you guys should see should either be a unboxing of supplements and review or an Alfleet unboxing and review. One or the other. I think Alfleet won't get here till the end of next week, if not the following week. The supplements will get here at the beginning of next week, so that might be the next video. We'll see. Again, I want to thank everyone that, that shows me any sort of love. Every single one of you guys will watch the video. Go ahead quickly down below. Follow my Instagram. I've been real active on there lately, posting every day. Make sure to follow me there. Show me some love just like you do on my YouTube. Again, thank you for showing me so much support. I can't wait for Houston. It's gonna be my time. It, I can't wait. I got workouts set up. I got workout edits set up. I got meetings with people and it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a great time. I can't wait to make videos. I can't wait to show you guys. Can't wait to see you guys if you're there. That's the end of the video. Don't forget to leave a like if you did enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe. Once I get 200, I'm gonna come up with a food challenge. It might be 200 Oreo challenge uh, for when I'm done dieting. Maybe something else, 200 something else, I don't know. 200 is something, 200 cookies, 200 donut ball, donut holes, I don't know. Again, don't forget to subscribe. Any comments down below, I just truly appreciate it. Do you like my videos? What do you like, what do you hate? Let me know. Thank you for the love, constant support. So don't forget to stay fit. But most importantly, stay sick. See you.